Ever pondered the tumultuous story of a princess born into opulence, yet veiled in unforeseen twists? Meet Princess Shahnaz Pahlavi, the first child of the late Shah of Iran, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. In today's video, we want to take you on a journey into her life, a life far from the fairy tale one might expect. Being the first child, her existence was shadowed by prophecies, family issues, and personal struggles. So let's explore this captivating tale together. Shana's Pahlavi, born on October 27, 1940, emerged into a world shadowed by a prophecy foretelling the downfall of her father, the Shah of Iran, if his firstborn was a girl. This prophecy cast a pall over her arrival, creating disappointment within the Pahlavi family. The princess faced a cold reception, and the strains in her relationship with the Shah soon became apparent. The winds of change whispered of departure, and her mother, Princess Fazia, navigating the complexities of royal life, eventually ended up having separation and divorce from the Shah. The young Shahnaz in her earliest years unwittingly became a symbol of a prophecy's weight and the strains within a royal marriage. As the drama unfolded, the princess found herself entangled in the threads of familial dynamics and tradition, a mere pawn in a chessboard governed by destiny's hand. Stepping back into Princess Shana's Pahlavi's early days, where the story weaves through the complexities of family dynamics and the challenges that shaped her childhood. Separated from her mom, Princess Fazia, Shana's found herself caught up in a family drama, her dad, the Shah of Iran, tried to fix things by using Shana's as a propaganda tool, hoping it would bring the family back together. But alas, these efforts fell short, leaving Shana's at the heart of a family puzzle that seemed impossible to solve. Despite these struggles, Shana's curiosity and love for learning didn't dim. She managed to juggle her education between Iran and Switzerland. School became a haven, a place where she could focus on growing as an individual away from the drama that surrounded her royal life. Now let's talk about her relationship with her stepmom, Soraya. Starting off a bit rocky, blending two families with their own stories isn't easy. But over time, things changed. The initial awkwardness slowly melted away, and Shana's, with her resilience, found a way to connect beyond the surface-level differences. At just the age of 16, Shanaz tied the knot with Ardeshir Zahidi in 1957. Their union brought a beautiful daughter into the world named Manaz. But as life often unfolds, their story took a turn, and by 1964, the couple decided to part ways. Fast forward to February 1971, where Shanaz decided to give love another chance. She entered into matrimony with Khosro Jahanbani, However, this decision wasn't smooth sailing. Shana's faced opposition from her own father, the Shah, at the beginning. Despite this, she pursued her heart's desire and got married. Life has its twists, and for Shana's it came in the form of challenges in her second marriage. Fast forward to 2014, and the marriage faced a heartbreaking end due to issues of infidelity. This period marked a significant turning point in Shana's life bringing not only personal turmoil, but also shedding light on the complexities of relationships within the royal family. Marriage for Shana's was not just about the glamour and celebrations. It was a journey marked by ups and downs, joys and sorrows. The challenges she faced were not uncommon, but were intensified by the spotlight of royalty. In these moments, Shana's, like many individuals, navigated the complexities of love, commitment, and the harsh realities that sometimes accompany relationships. Now let's venture into a crucial phase in Princess Shana's life, a time marked by post-divorce challenges and the struggles she faced on her path to healing. After parting ways with Khosro Johanbani, life took an unexpected turn for Shana's. The aftermath of the divorce brought with it a heavy toll on her mental well-being. Imagine going through a tough breakup. Now, multiply that by the scrutiny and pressures that come with being part of a royal family. Shana's found herself grappling with the weight of these challenges, and her mental health took a hit. To add to the complexities, she entered into a relationship that involved drug use. This period of her life became a battleground, a place where personal struggles intertwined with external pressures. Despite these formidable challenges, Shana's life took another turn 
one that involved navigating the complexities of her inheritance after her father's passing. Unfortunately, this chapter brought about a legal dispute over the unequal distribution of her inheritance. This part of Shauna's life is a testament to the fact that life's difficulties don't discriminate based on status or titles. Even in the world of royalty, individuals grapple with personal demons and external pressures. Shauna's in these moments became a symbol not only of royal lineage, but also of resilience. A reminder that the journey to healing is often a winding road with unexpected twists. After the Iranian Revolution, Princess Shanaz entered a phase of life marked by significant changes. Seeking refuge from the political storms that swept through Iran, she found solace in Switzerland. This European haven became her sanctuary, a place to distance herself from the upheavals that reshaped her homeland. In the aftermath of the revolution, Shanaz's journey unfolded in a different rhythm. Switzerland became a backdrop for a life that contrasted with the tumultuous experiences of her half-siblings in post-revolutionary Iran. The complexities of her experiences painted a distinct picture within the broader tapestry of the Pahlavi family. While Shanaz navigated a life marked by both misfortune and relative privilege in Switzerland, her half-siblings faced the challenges of reshaped Iran. This divergence in their paths highlighted the intricate dynamics embedded within the Pahlavi family, an illustration of how shared lineage could manifest in distinctly different post-revolutionary realities. During her father's rule, Shanaz wasn't just a royal figure. She was also involved in investments. She put her energy into agricultural enterprises, cultivating a connection with the land. Additionally, she had a hand in the Honda bicycle and motorcycle assembly plants. These were not just business ventures, they were part of Shanaz's contribution during a significant era in Iranian history. Now let's talk about the honor Shanaz received. It's like getting a gold star for your achievements, but in the world of royalty. Shanaz was bestowed with prestigious recognitions, like the Grand Cross of the Order of Aramer and the Grand Cross of the Order of the Pleiades First Class. These honors weren't just titles, they were a symbol of acknowledgement for her contributions and influence. In this part of Shanaz's story, we witness a transition from active involvement in investments during her father's rule to a life of recognition and multiple citizenships in Switzerland and Egypt. It's a chapter that reflects both the personal and public dimensions of her legacy, showcasing how a royal figure can leave an impact that goes beyond the palace walls. As we conclude this exploration into the captivating life of Princess Shanaz Pahlavi, we have uncovered a narrative woven with resilience, complexities, and a unique blend of royalty and humanity. Her journey, marked by challenges and triumphs, offers a glimpse into the intricacies of a life lived in the spotlight and the shadows. If you found this journey engaging, don't forget to show your support. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories, and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when we upload the next video. Here's a question for you. What aspect of Princess Shanaz's life resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for being a part of our community, and until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep being curious.